links with Winchester College and the University of Chichester. The fact that there are more than 2,000 academies in this country today and the fact that this school is now as special as it is, is testament to Lord Adonis's vision and drive. I look forward to what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last hour, we've had an exhibition of all that makes this school so great. We've had the singers, we've had the dancers, we've had the speakers, we've had the head boy, the head girl, we've had the most brilliant pianist, we've had your outstanding head teacher, we've had your chair of governors, all that makes this school so great. And I think we should give a big round of applause to all those who have performed so brilliantly this morning. Now, uh, the taxi driver, his name was Adrian Glue, uh, who brought me in from, uh, from uh, Hazelmere, and he has one or two things to say about the transport system, which I will pass on to the County Council afterwards, <laughs> and in particular the phasing of, of roadworks and the dismantling of scaffolding in the centre of Midhurst, all of which I'm sure can be improved. However, he's an old boy of Midhurst Grammar School. He said, it was H.G. Wells and me, he said, who were the people who made that a great school. <laughs> he also told me it's... He said, you are so lucky there, he said, to have Dr V. And you are lucky to have Dr V. You're also extremely lucky to have his parents. Dr V came here as an Italian immigrant in the 1970s. His parents are here today. His wife is here today. His own story as the head boy of Midhurst Grammar School, who went on to Cambridge to get a PhD, has been one of the most outstanding head teachers in the country and is now leading this school into being one of the best schools in the country, is a testament to you students on everything that you can achieve in life. And to the whole of the Midhurst community here is a huge boon to this community and all it's going to achieve in the future. So let's give Dr V a big round of applause as well. A, uh, a good school is the creation of many hands, and we're so lucky today to have so many of those people who have made this outstanding institution possible. My good friend Andrew Tyree, the local MP, it was he and I when we discussed the issues around Midhurst College with the County Council, and I'm glad to see the County Council represented here this morning too, which began the process of change. United Learning, one of the best education organisations in the country, Ed Gould and John Coles, who lead it, we're lucky to have them here today. I was very anxious at the outset that we forged a really strong partnership with an independent school. It's fantastic that Dr Rafe Townsend and Winchester College are here today. We need all our schools to be connected in the future with higher education, and it's great to have the University in Chichester here today. Lord Cowdray, who I'm glad to see is here today too, made possible so much that has happened. A lot of the land arrangements that were necessary were courtesy of Lord Cowdray, and of course he is so much the dominant <laughs> figure in this town. And there are so many others, the architects, the designers, the staff who have seen this phenomenal transformation through. This is the work of hundreds, if not thousands, of people. And I think the students here today should give a big round of applause to all those who made it possible to create this great institution we're celebrating this morning. <laughs> Let me just say a word about the purpose of this fantastic academy that we're celebrating. Uh, my boss, Tony Blair, said that his three priorities were education, education and education, which led the then Prime Minister, famously John Major, to say that he had the same three priorities, but not necessarily in the same order, he said. <laughs> what do I think is the purpose of education? I think there are three fundamental purposes. The first is to get young people decent qualifications, which is the passport to so much else they will achieve in life. The second is character and developing all those attributes of character which are so vital to having a successful life and being a successful part of the community. And the third purpose of education is service, is being a useful person in our community, doing our best by our friends and our families and putting something back, not least those of us who have gained so much from our communities and from our education. Now, Midhurst Rother College stands for all three of those vital pillars of education. You're getting the standards right and the qualifications right. The story of transformation in standards in this school is phenomenal. 
over the last four years. 72% last year getting five or more good GCSEs, including English and Maths. That's way above the national average. It is a phenomenal achievement, a great tribute to the staff and students. And all of those young people who get those GCSEs have passports into apprenticeships, into university places, into good jobs, which will serve them for the rest of their lives. And your mission is to get those standards up higher. I was delighted to meet your wonderful sixth formers this morning. You have a growing sixth form in terms of size. You have outstanding students going on to university. They will all be beacons to the younger students too, and that is fantastic. You also understand that education does not stop at three o'clock in the afternoon. You have the most amazing array of activities that take place in arts, in sports, in the community, the 10 pledges that Dr. V referred to, I was delighted to see all of them are about commitments which the students are expected to make over and above simply turning up at lessons and sitting exams. Now, those of us who are rather older now, when we look back at our school days, most of what you learn in the classroom, you forget. Hopefully, you learn how to learn for the future. It's all those other things, those other attributes, those other activities the education for character, which is so important and which lasts with you for life. And it seems to me that a big mission of schools of the future is not simply the instruction that takes place in the classroom, but all those deep interests, all of those passions which you develop, all of those other attributes which have so much to do with community life, which are important. And that leads on thirdly to service. This school would not exist without a commitment by an outstanding son of Midhurst to the creation of a grammar school, which, as I understand it, in 1672 was created in a shop above a town in Midhurst, who endowed the school, who made it possible for it to be established, and everything flowed from that. Now, we're not all going to be remembered in 300 years' time for the foundation of schools, but we do all have the opportunity in our communities, in our families, in our classes, in school, thinking about that last drama production that we had. We all have the opportunity to put something back, to give something to our fellows, and to get more and to give more to education than simply getting qualifications. So it's about getting decent standards in our schools. It's about real education for character. It's about service. It's about putting something back. You do all those things in Midhurst Lother College, and it's a real pleasure to be celebrating with you this morning the foundation of an institution which in 300 years' time people will look back on and say, this transformed this town and this community for the better. Thank you very much.
think I'm the only parent who's going to have the chance to speak. And as a parent, I want to say thank you to Dr. Joe and his staff for transforming the lives of our local children. It's been a great, great journey. Not always easy um, for the parents who stuck with it. It's been difficult at times, but we're immensely proud. As a governor, I'm immensely proud, and a member of the local community, immensely proud. And so I'm going to offer a prayer for the journey ahead. Creating God, as we grow as a school, Help us to flourish. As we flourish as a school, help us to learn. As we learn together, help us to understand. As we understand together, help us to live. As we live as a community of learning, help us to build our world. With courage, compassion, dedication, and friendship. Bless this place. Bless each one of us here. Bless our futures. Amen. Laura and I would like to thank our guest of honour, Lord Andrew Adonis, without whom we would not have had the opportunity to be learning in one of the most impressive school buildings in the country. Lord Adonis made the decision to make our school an academy, and as a token of our thanks, we would like to present him with a gift to show our appreciation. our guests to leave for refreshments in the library, we would like to say a goodbye to our students and staff in the sports hall. Now if I could kindly ask our guests to make their way to the library where our hospitality team will be there to provide you with the right refreshments. Thank you.